everyone, Coach Ty here, and in this video, I want to show you an interval training workout that involves some pretty cool dynamic movements, utilizing props such as the balance beam, boxes, parallettes, and barbells or pull-up bars. The format will be simple in that we'll be alternating between two exercises at 30 seconds of activity, getting as many quality reps of the movement as possible, followed by 15 seconds of rest performing each movement three times per set that will give us a total of six sets after which you may rest for a minute or two. Nearly each exercise can be made easier or more difficult and I will show you how. Keep in mind that this is not a live workout video. Instead, it's an informational video to show you the movements and structure of the workout. Let's have some fun. Our first two movements are known as switch step vaults and turning under bars. In a switch step vault, you'll want to have two boxes at different heights. Place both hands on the taller box and one foot on the lower box. As we pass over to the other side, we simply switch the foot that is on top, dropping our first foot to the ground. We can make this more difficult by raising the levels of the boxes, eventually coming to an equal height for both the hands and the feet. Start off slow, then work your way towards quicker feet. In a turning under bar, cross your arms and grab the bar so that your bottom hand is facing up and your top hand is facing down. Grab on nice and tight, drop in, jump, and pull yourself through and you'll naturally spin to face the other direction. Make this movement more difficult by setting the bar lower or by trying to get farther every time you swing. In our next set, we'll be balancing and performing what I call a tripod bridge. For the balancing, take some cones or some other small prop and place them a few steps away from the balance beam. With each step, we'll be reaching out with the opposite foot to gently touch the object without falling off the beam. Make this more difficult by placing the objects further away from the beam or by going backwards. For the tripod bridge, start in a seated position. Kick one foot out and keep that same side hand down to the ground. Lift your hips by pressing down into your hand and both your feet and reach up. Come back to the ground and switch to the other side. This can be made easier by not using your hands or it can be made harder by not sitting back down on the ground. Up next, we have lateral step-unders and parallel or box dash-throughs. The step-unders are pretty straightforward. All we need to do is set up a bar or a stick, stand on one side, squat down, reach over to the other side, and then stand up over on the other side. Do your best to keep good form in your back, keeping it straight, and make this harder by dropping the bar a little bit lower. In the dash throughs, set up two boxes about two feet away from each other, leaving a little bit of empty space in between them. Place your hands on top for support, then simply pass your feet forward and backward through the gap. The goal is to bring your feet as far back and as far forward as you can without losing contact with your hands, then making it lower and eventually toward the ground. In our final set, we have step vaults and bar curlovers. In a step vault, otherwise known as a kick through in some situations, we can make it easiest by allowing the supporting foot to be at a lower level than the supporting hand. To make it more difficult, we can step in reverse, we can bring the levels to an equal level, or we can also bring them higher to require more of a jump. When performing the bar curl over, we'll want to start with the bar at or just above waist height. This way, we won't have to jump very high. However, if you'd like to make this more difficult, you can use a pull-up bar at height to require more of a jump and longer letdown. Or, you can lower the bar, challenging yourself to keep your legs up off the ground as you lower yourself down. From Coach Ty, I hope you enjoyed the video and the workout, and I'll see you soon.